This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. It might seem tempting and oh so easy to crush on the couch or hop in the shower with your contacts in, but doing so can actually put your eyes at serious risk. To learn more about the five common mistakes contact users make, we have Dr. Ron Brand from International Eye Care Center here this morning to kind of break it down for us. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. So after looking at these five common mistakes, I'm going to say that I'm guilty. I wear contacts <laughs> and sometimes, and after reading what these actually can do to you, it's kind of scary to know that, you know, it could be a, a pose a dangerous uh, hazard for you. So the first um, mistake that we'll be talking about is sleeping with your contacts. Now you had mentioned that there are some contacts out there that allow you to do that, but other contacts, not so much. Yes, that's right. It's very important to have the correct material. Not mm -hmm. all materials are approved for overnight wear. Not all patients' corneas can take it even with the correct materials. Mm -hmm. So where we see problems is somebody with, who's, whose friend does it, so they think they can do mm -hmm. it, and that's where they run into trouble. And what kind of trouble could that pose on your eyes? Well, the first thing that happens is the cornea swells, mm -hmm. and that shuts off all the nerves, so they don't feel bad. So you have a patient where, where it doesn't necessarily feel bad. They don't take the lenses out, so they think they're seeing okay, but really the, the cornea surface can be damaged permanently. Interesting. Now, mistake number two that we're going to talk about is taking a shower or maybe even swimming with your contacts. And I know that sometimes in the summertime, I want to be able to see, so I'll keep my contacts in, and that's not a very good idea. Swimming's much worse than the shower because the water that's in the pool or the lake is going to be way worse than whatever comes out of your tap at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, the contact lenses are like little sponges. They absorb whatever contaminants are around, and they hold that in in uh, contact with the surface of the cornea and that's where the problems begin. All right, and mistake number three is using water to clean them. I've never done this before, but I've seen a couple people, if they don't have contact solution with them, they'll run it under tap water and then pop it into their eye and you're saying no. Yes, yeah, same thing. That water is not sterile enough to be in contact with your eye for a long period of time and the lenses absorb the impurities and that just ruins the lenses. So any, any commercially prepared contact lens solution is going to be superior, far superior to the water. And you did bring in some couple examples, like mm -hmm. this one you says actually bubbles up. Yes, this is a peroxide-based solution, so it will um, actually do a little bit more effective job for mm -hmm. people that have problems with buildup. The other ones are multi-purpose, and the things with the multi-purpose, when they came out, they all said no rub, but uh, that was only if you rinse them for 30 seconds, and I found nobody ever did that with solution they bought. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to solution, I know when you go into the eye care aisle of your, uh, you know, store, you have name brands, you have That's generic right. brands, mm -hmm. you have store brand names. Does it matter when it comes to buying that? I know there's some that are really expensive, some that are cheaper. What are your take Very on that? Very much so. The, the branded products all have newer uh technology preservatives, the mm -hmm. older ones, the preservatives are harsher. Sometimes the preservatives in different solutions aren't compatible with each other and causes all kinds of trouble. That's the first thing we have to look at is what kind of solution the patient's uh, been using. Okay, and mistake number four is using a case for too long. So your contact case holder, you how, how long should we use one for? Well, if you're cleaning it properly and mm -hmm. regularly, three to six months, uh, I, I've seen people pull contact lens cases out of their purses and pockets that I didn't even want to touch. I just only throw them right away. Yeah. You know? because they can they can really harbor a lot of germs. And when you say uh, three to six months with proper cleaning care, what does that entail? Well, after you insert your contacts, you want to discard the used solution and then wash out and dry the contact lens case there with regular soap and water, and okay. then it'll be ready to go next time. All right. And finally, the, the fifth mistake is wearing expired contacts. Well, uh, yes, the, the bigger problem is people that over where the contacts they have. Mm -hmm. You know, when you got your contacts, you were told when to take them out, when to throw them away, the replacement schedule. And what mm -hmm. I find is people go sometimes go way beyond and get in trouble that way. Mm -hmm. the actual expiration date on the contacts is going to be out several years. So mm -hmm. unless you just happen to find an old one, it's unlikely to be actually expired. Yeah. So with that, what you're saying is for those that I know I have two week contacts right. and what you're saying is recommending not to wear them past that two weeks. Exactly. If you're wearing two week contacts for two months, You'll, you'll end up with our final contact lens product, which is an eye patch. Yeah, so. which we don't want.
No. So, and you also brought in what I thought was really interesting. I know that sometimes I um, I get a lot of dry eye with my contacts, mm -hmm. depending on the season and stuff. And I also have eye drops that I use. But there's also some uh, vitamins you can take. Yes, uh, we used to have a lot of problems with uh, patients dropping out of contacts due to their eyes being dry. And now we're finding that with uh, uh, support for the oil glands, uh, it's mostly uh, fish oil, uh, they're able to tolerate the contacts many years longer than they could before and for more hours in the day. All so right. So that's something else that we have now. All right. There's a lot of new stuff, a lot of new contacts. When people were told they couldn't wear contacts even just a few years ago, mm -hmm. there's things now that'll help them. I know. Perfect. And also, of course, very important always to wear sunglasses to protect your eyes from yep. the sun. And talk about sunglasses and the importance. Well, uh, the whole purpose of the eye is to concentrate light at a small spot, the most sensitive spot at the back of the eye. And if a magnifying glass, think what that does to your car paint over the years, mm -hmm. um, the UV protection that you get from glasses is really important. Okay. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Brand, for coming on. What we'll do is we'll thank post everything me. on our website at heartlandconnection.com. We'll also link up your information at International Eye Care Center. Okay, thank you. Thanks for having me. And we'll be right back.